I'll tell you my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. Okay. And I'll teach all of these softwares. They are all available on my platform. Uh, amazing, right? Uh, you can subscribe with us for as low as 3,000 naira. Okay. Uh, take advantage of this lockdown. We we'll teach you all of these softwares. Okay. All these softwares are actually available on our platform. You can download them. You can download all the videos. They are actually on our Telegram platform. Once you register with us, we add you to that platform. We teach you online. Okay. At any point that you are stuck, okay, we'll show you how to go about your design. And uh, and I bet you that uh, you become a professional room by the time you finish your uh, training with us. For a token of uh, three thousand naira, okay, irrespective of wherever you are, just do the conversion in dollar. You can pay down below the description of this video. Uh, you will see the link to uh, registration. Um, you can as well subscribe to our channel just click on the red button it's actually free okay subscribe click on the bell icon so as to get a notification whenever we post videos I post videos like this on the weekly sometimes on the daily to encourage as many that are trying to have a deeper a deeper insight of design this is our um the uh, you can like our page okay on facebook okay greatest uh card concept okay you can just search that on facebook sorry it's greatest design concept okay just search it on facebook like our page you can as well join our group on facebook just search on greatest okay and you'll find it okay uh today i'm going to be showing you how to make use of some basic autocad tools okay uh to because I know most of the challenges, uh, some are scared once they switch from 2007 to 2010 AutoCAD and then they get frustrated. Okay, I'm just going to be showing you how to make use of shortcut tools right now. Okay, for example, you want to copy this, I just type in CO. Okay, CO, you can see it's actually interactive. Once you type, it gives you whatever you want. You can see the list of uh, what is actually giving us. Uh, I will just highlight a drag. You can see I'm dropping it here. You can see, right? Now I'm going to show you one MA match property. Okay, you can see match property. I'll press enter. I'll click. I want to match this with this. You can see it has changed. This color has actually changed. Let's see. I want to match property back to its original color take it back okay okay now let's say i want to rotate this i'll just type ro okay and i press enter and then i'm going to highlight this and then i'm going to press right click okay i just right click or you can press enter you can see if i want to drop it at 90 you can see if i want to take it here like 180 i take it up can see i can play with it okay i can leave it at its original once i rotate like this i will just left click and that's all let me take it back ctrl z and I bring it back amazing right if you're already liking this why not give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel is actually free okay click on the bell icon make sure you like our facebook page okay just do that to encourage me okay show me some love okay yeah i'm going to be showing you some other uh, things you can actually do with this now type m that is move to press enter i'm going to highlight and i'm going to right click and i'm going to drag let's see i want to drop this here if i left click that's how to drop okay um let's see i want to um uh, let's say I want to offset a line, okay, this line, I can just type O and I press enter. You can, you can see what it's telling us, specify offset distance, okay. What I'm going to type now is, I'm going to type, let's say I want to offset 3 meters, okay, which is 3000. Okay. Um, for those of you, um, these first videos, 
uh, this is my first video that you are actually seeing uh, I have a lot of videos actually in my YouTube channel just visit that channel and keep yourself busy I've done video on how to set your AutoCAD environment on how to crack your AutoCAD okay go down uh, into my YouTube channel and then keep yourself busy all those videos are actually available there okay and make sure you subscribe you can see I have offset this let's say I want to offset this backward to this side I just type O and I press enter you can see if I want to maintain you can see uh, 3000 is still there if I want to maintain that I will just press enter but if I don't want to maintain that I can just retype let's say 2000 for example and I press enter and I'm going to and I'm going to take it to this direction anywhere I don't need to you can see once I bring my uh, cursor to this side you can see it follows if I take it to this side it follows as well okay so what what I'm actually going to do here I'm going to drop it here okay uh, I'm going to show you another tool which is three I'm going to T then R then I press enter you can see it says select object or select all okay so I'm going to press on to select all okay and then I'm going to you can see that's highlight this portion that's true you can see that's true you can see that's true okay um you can see that's true I can keep trimming okay now let's let me show you another tool let's see for example I want to fill it okay I'm going to show you how to fill it I type F for example let's say I want to fill it this okay um, I'm going to type F you can see it's giving me list of uh, all the commands that starts with F now I'm going to type I'm going to press enter you can see the first on that list is fillet but if I don't want fillet I can use my arrow down key okay to take it down to wherever I want to use or I can use my mouse okay then I'm going to leave it at fillet uh -huh. sorry about that Okay. I'm going to take that again. Don't know what happened. Now I'm going to click on this. For example, I want to join this line with this particular line. You see what happened now. You can see I fillet that. Okay. So this line is not supposed to be there. Now let's say for example I want to erase a line. Okay. I'll just type P. E. You can see all of these keys are actually uh from uh the first uh, letter of each of those commands okay you can see i just typed e and all the list of commands that are starting with e just pop up you can see extend is there you can see erase is there okay you can see text edit for example i want to edit a text you can see explode for example i want to explode a blocked uh uh object okay i'm going to take you through that uh and i'll type enter and then i'll click on this and then i'm going to right click you can see it has gone off uh the next thing i'm going to show you is how to extend now to extend is e and then x you can see it's written here okay it's amazing right what you can actually do with your autocad now with the help of shortcut keys there is no version of AutoCAD that you cannot make use of okay uh yes there is no va you can operate even AutoCAD version uh <laughs> version 2025 that is even yet to come okay now i'm going to press enter now you can see what is telling me it says select object or select all now I want to select all I'm going to right click now this is what I want to extend you can see 
so once i click on it you can see it has extend i want to take it to this side i'll click on it it will extend but there's nothing it can extend to here at this point so if i click it won't go okay so um let's say we have a block object and then i want to actually explode that particular object now what do i do let's go up here i have a block object that i want to explode now you can see once i just on it you can see it as i like the whole window this is a window now i click on it copy you can see now let's say i want to i don't want this to be blocked maybe i want to edit this window the size of this window is too large for me okay what do i do i'll just explode this you can see x i just type x that's explode and i click enter or i can right click i can press on enter or right click okay they serve um the same purpose okay and i still right click again you can see it has exploded you can see it has exploded this now that is the use of an explode okay i can actually bring this back to a block for example if i if I want to make this a block, you can see I just type B <laughs> and it comes up. Okay, I can just press enter. You can see the menu bar that has popped up. I want to create this window to become a block. What do I do? I will just name it. Um, let's say I want to name this window, uh, let's say six, for example. Now I'm going to select the object. You can see I right click, I highlight on all of the object, and I'm going to right click. You can see it has popped up again. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is to click on OK. My block is here already. So, there are a lot of tools that I'm going to be showing you. Okay. Um, let me show you another interesting tool. I know you're going to like this. Uh, for example, I want to mirror this. Okay. Um, I want this face. This face. I want this side to face this side. What do I do? I can just use a tool called mirror. I'll just type my M and I'll type my I. That is mirror and I press enter. I can just right click. And I press enter or I can right click again and then I'll just draw the direction you can see I started from up I'm dragging it to this direction you can see it's asking me whether to erase the original source or I should leave it now let's say for example I want to leave the source okay I can just say no but if I want to take off that source can just say yes and it will take you can see this is the one i want to do so if i drag this and i right click okay and i if i press on yes you can see the original source has gone okay i type e and i press enter i highlight i, I right click or i press enter to erase that for me okay so there are a lot of tools AutoCAD has a lot of tools okay that can actually make your work much more easier and faster okay you can see I actually divided my screen into two now I'm going to show you how to divide your screen into two okay you can just go to your view okay you can see here it's telling us viewport configuration and then I'm going to click on this drop down. Okay, you can see single. If I press on single, it will the window will just be just a single page. Now you see. Sorry, it's actually loading. Ha! Now you can see it single. Okay. 
so there's a whole lot of things you can actually do with your autocad now let me take it back to double now i can take it to two vertical i can take it to two horizontal i can take it to three as much as you want okay now i'm going to take it back to two vertical Okay, now these are some of the major tools that um, you may actually need to know, okay, in order to make your work much more easier and then uh, faster, okay. You can keep uh, visiting my channel, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever I post videos. Remember I said I post videos like this on a weekly, sometimes even on a daily to encourage as many that want to have a better insight of design. Okay? Make sure you stay safe. Make sure you stay blessed.